What's up, y'all? Trey be dipping in the building. You know what time it is. So, today is the day. Today is the day. Uh, last video, you guys saw me put together um, the clutch and put the trans to the motor. What you're not going to see is me putting the motor in the car because, number one, if you've been on the channel, you know I've done that more than a few times. So, I'm not even going to bother showing you guys that. Plus, I didn't have my camera when I did it. That's the main thing. But you guys get the point. Um, but yeah, man. So today... Hey! Today, we're going to start this joint up. You know what I'm saying? First start. So stay tuned. Alright, so... Basically, the next thing I need to do, I got the fuel pressure regulator hooked up. The next thing I need to do is actually drain the gas. Um, because I am running E85, uh, there's a term, I think it's called hydroscopic. And all that basically means is it retains moisture. So since the E85 has been sitting in the tank for six months, it's better to be safe than sorry. So I'm actually going to drain the gas. For me, it's a little bit easier because I have the uh, Honda out of S300. If you have an S300, um, you can actually plug in your laptop, open up S Manager, and there's actually a pull-down menu for test outputs, and you can test to make sure uh, like the radiator fans are working, um, as well as like uh, your boost solenoid if you have one. And in my case, I'm going to be using the uh, test fuel pump uh, option so that I can drain the gas. All right, so I popped the uh, fuel line. I got that running into the tank. The, this gallon or five gallon container and then what I did was like I said on Hondata I don't know how well you can see this but wait a minute so what you do is if like if you're trying to do the same thing you have an S300 and drain the gas all you got to do is data log with the lightning bolt and you go to um, online the online tab at the top go down to test outputs and you'll see the different outputs you can test and I'm gonna click test fuel pump click that and then there we go it's draining gas so I'm gonna drain the rest of this E85 out the old E85 and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I already got another five gallon thing I'm going to put in the tank, fill it up, and then test the fuel pressure and then go from there. You know what I'm saying? Get you some of that E85, the E80 fizzle, aka that corn oil. <laughs> All right, so pretty much I got the new gas in, oil's in it, coolant's in it. I mean, it's pretty much ready to go. Um, I was having one issue. The one issue I was having was um, it kept blowing a fuse. Uh, so like I would hear it prime and then when I would go to try to prime it again, it wouldn't prime and then I traced it to basically a fuse that kept blowing. And I think long story short, the relay, I, since I am running a uh, Warboro 450, it needs an external relay. And in that relay that I'm using that's in the trunk does look a little kind of like melted a little bit. So I think the relay itself is bad and was making it pop the fuse. So in order for me to start it, what I'm probably gonna have to do is take the relay out um, and then pretty much uh, take the relay out and then uh, jump the power and the pump so that it's constantly running while I try to start it. Um, and that should let me start it up. And obviously, I'm not gonna run it like that. I just need to get a new relay. But for the purpose of the video, you know what I'm saying? Getting this thing cranked up. Let's uh.
right, y'all. So, y'all gonna be riding shotgun. You know what I'm saying? This is gonna be the first test drive, so I get a chance to. Obviously, I'm not gonna rip into it, so don't expect me to like just go full on, full throttle, because it's not tuned yet, and it's just I need to break it in, all kinds of stuff. So I wouldn't expect anything crazy, but for those of you who have been following along, you know what I'm saying? It's about to be the first uh, test drive, main voyage. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna start it up and close the hood and go for the first drive. Oh my god, this clutch is crazy. Check one thing I want to make sure because I since I was working in that spot, I couldn't tell if anything was really leaking or not. I'm gonna check one more time to make sure it's not leaking, and then if nothing's leaking, I'm gonna go. Temp's good, not nothing's leaking, no fuel, no oil, no coolant. So I think we're good to go. Hopefully, I don't stall out going up this hill. This clutch is crazy. Definitely uh something else. Set the regulator to 
somewhat what the pressure was when I got it tuned, at least so I can like cruise it. But so far, so good, man. A couple of you in the uh, in the clutch install video were worried about a lot of chatter, and honestly, um, I can see in certain situations where it would give me problems, but for the most part, um, it's good, man. No, I mean, I, I can see situations where it would have chatter, but just even just going up the driveway and around the neighborhood, I don't think it's going to be an issue. If I do say so myself, damn, first voyage out the way, okay. There you have it, man. First start, first test drive out the way. <sighs> Feels good, man. Um... If you like the video, hit that like button. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you feel like somebody else needs to see it, hit that share button. And if you're new, see that right there? That's the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that. And I'll see you guys on the next one. The grand opening. I come through and start smoking shit. I'm creeping up while I'm approaching you.